brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed Him with exultation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find Him and recognize in Him the breaking of the bread until He comes again, revealed in glory. Let us pray. O oh God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just men, Simon, the light for uh, revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing this country. eager to carry in that name, so that uh, treading the path of virtue we may reach that light which never fades, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the procession begins, the choir will sing the procession song.
Let us pray. Almighty, every living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, we are with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I send my messenger to prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. <coughs> the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver, till they present right offerings to the Lord. Then the offering of Judea and Jerusalem will be pleased to the Lord, as in the days of old, as in former years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. to the Hebrews. Since the children share in flesh and blood, Jesus himself likewise partook of the same nature, that through death he might destroy him 
who has the power of death, that is the devil. And deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong bondage. For surely it is not with angels that he is concerned, but with the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to be made like his brethren in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make expiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered and been tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. The word of the Lord. Kindly rise for the acclamation. revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. <clears throat> and inspired by the Spirit, he came into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. The feast of the presentation of Jesus at the temple 
is also known as the Feast of the Encounter. The liturgy says at the beginning that Jesus goes to meet his people. The first encounter between Jesus and his people, represented by Simon and Anna, took place there. It was also the first encounter within the history of the people, the meeting between the young Mary and Joseph and the old Simon and Anna. St. Luke says four times that our Lord and St. Joseph, Our Lady and St. Joseph wanted to do what was required by the law of the Lord. Jesus' parents had the joy of observing the presence of God. They were motivated by the desire to do what is prescribed. It is a strong desire, deep desire full of joy. That's what the psalm says, in the way of thy testimonies I delight, for thy law is my delight. And St. Luke say of Simon and Anna more than once that they were guided by the Holy Spirit. He called Simon called Rathos because he saw not his own good, by the good of his nation, the consolation of Israel, a real happiness. Hence it follows, the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see that before he had seen the Lord Christ. He received an answer from the Holy Spirit, and he went to the temple, inspired by the Spirit, and he took him up in his arms. And the origin commands, if you would touch Jesus and grasp him in your hands, strive with all your strength to have the Spirit for your guide and come to the temple of God. If we marvel to hear that the woman was healed by touching the, the hem of his garment, what should we think of Simon, who received the infant in his arms and rejoiced, seeing that the little one he carried was the one who had come to let loose the captives? St. Luke says Anna was a prophetess. That is, she was inspired by God. Anna also favors the mysteries of the Church, being by interpretation its grace, and being both uh, the daughter of Phanuel, who is called the face of God, and descended from the tribe of Hazar, it is the blessing. The two elders are full of life because they are and live by the Holy Spirit, obedient to his action. Jesus is at the center. It is he who moves everything, who draws all of them to the temple, the house of his father. It is a meeting between the young who are full of joy in observing the law of the Lord and the elderly who are full of joy in the action of the Holy Spirit. It is a unique encounter between observance and prophecy. Observance of the law is animated by the Spirit and the prophecy moves forward along the path traced by the law. Who? more than Mary is full of the Holy Spirit, who more than her is docile to its action. May the grace of this mystery, the mystery of the encounter, enlighten us and comfort us on our journey in this moment that the Holy Spirit has prepared for the Church in India.
provide it. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord God accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. May the offering made with exultation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world in the, as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your coternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we do go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. Sana in the heights, blessed is he who comes in the 
Take a Eucharist prayer number two in page number 48. Page number 48. Take please Eucharist prayer number two. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit among them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be getting to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are just spread throughout the world and bring here to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Archbishop and all the bishops in India and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have done to my life, but to be saved from my sins, my soul shall be
Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been delivered to the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank Apostolic Nuncio, Most Reverend Gian Battista Di Quattro, for having presided over this celebration. We thank all the concelebrants, our four cardinals, our chief guests for the inaugural function today, Cardinal Charles Bo, who comes from Yangon, Myanmar, our cardinals, our bishops concelebrating, all of you. Brother Bishops, for having joined us in this celebration. A very special thank for all of you who have made your time, fathers, sisters, uh, faithful, to participate and pray for the Catholic Bishops' Conference and the Catholic Church in India this morning. Uh, we are especially grateful to uh, St. John's Medical College Choir. With your beautiful voices, you raised our spirit to raise ourselves to the Lord. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. Bless you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.